Hi there, um, for the devotion today, um, I'm going to read from Hebrews 13, um, verses 5 to 6. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. Because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? So in this passage, the author of Hebrews here um, has quoted two other passages from the Bible. We've got one quotation from Deuteronomy 31 uh, verse 6 uh, and then also Psalm 118 um, verses 6 to 7. Uh, and so I just wanted to explore a little bit why um, the author has chosen to put these passages here um, at, the, at this point within Hebrews because to me it wasn't instantly obvious. Um, so I guess we can assume from the opening line there, keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have, um, that perhaps some of the Hebrews that the writer was writing to um, were maybe struggling with these things, love of money or, or earthly things, um, and maybe struggling with feeling content. Um, so then directly after mentioning these um, struggles, these challenges, our author offers us the antidote here, and that is the reminder of the commitment of our God that he will never leave us and he will never forsake us. And that allows us to say with confidence that next bit, the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. So these passages combined form a really beautiful picture of, of faith, of our trust in the Lord as our helper, um, and that is the antidote to the love of earthly things and lack of contentment. So when we're struggling with these things, when we're not feeling content, um, let's revisit these passages here. Let's reread these passages and see what, what the author of Hebrews is and what God is trying to, to say to us through these passages. I hope that's been encouraging. Um, and I'm just going to wrap up by reading um, the prayer that comes um, just after this in Hebrews that kind of wraps up. Um, the letter to the Hebrews um, because I just think it's a very beautiful and succinct and powerful prayer. May the God of peace who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus that great shepherd of the sheep equip you with everything good for doing his will and may he work in us what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen.